Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Starcrawler. So, let's check the job board for work, as usual. Let's... Let's do the black box. Uh, we're wildly overleveled for it at this point. I'm curious how, how much, like, the level scales in this game. Uh, but yeah, at this point we are overpowered enough for it. The extra money will be nice, EXP, so on and so forth. So, Aurora Starliners wants intel on what happened to the Stella Marin. Since you uncovered the lit coordinates, they'd like you to retrieve a black box from the nav bay located in deck 105. Locate and return it intact. The ship is on lockdown. No one allowed in or out under UFP council ruling. So the mission is strictly dark ops. Let's use our standard group. And you guys are totally correct. My, uh, what is it, Psychomancer? Uh, is male. I don't know why I just defaulted to female. Uh, maybe it's something to do with the proportions. I haven't been paying attention, but whoops. Well, uh, whatever. Brain, Brain Puncher does not subscribe to standard uh, gender construct. Brain Puncher is really just a sentient tentacle in a suit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to go further into that backstory. I don't want to go that direction. Okay. Welcome to the picturesque Stella Marin, I guess. This is deck 110. According to directions from Aurora, you want to head over to the commercial plaza and then an elevator ride down to 105 for the nearest nav chamber and a black box. Easy as pie. Sounds simple enough. We got two calls waiting for you from Horizons of Robotics and Workers United for a hush-hush mission. There's a lot of people up in our business. Typical. Like every two-bit snitch on the takes been bartering intel since the second we found that ship. Both are proposing a quick job while you're already on board. Decent pay offered. What would you like to do first? Uh, not sure. Got any details about the employers? Horizon Robotics is one of the UFP fat cats. Rich is Croesus too. Cro Croesus too. Workers United is a civ group protecting the rights of greasers and such. What do you want to talk to first? Uh, let's do Horizon. Stand by for transmission or transmission from oh wait no no this is her anyway stand by for transmission from Horizon Robotics the hollow display darkens momentarily and then flickers back on revealing a flash looking corp mouthpiece with an oily grin you can almost taste the insincere winks about to be directed your way hey there partner my employer is a little favor to ask Aurora is determined to get their hands on that black box but the intel really ought to be going to Horizon first. As the unofficial UFP leader, we have a responsibility to make sure all evidence is handled properly. Sounds like something you should take up with Aurora. Well now, sometimes it's easier to come at these things sideways rather than start a confrontation. All we need is a copy of the data, just to make sure it's not tampered with. You can still take the box to Aurora afterwards, and they'll be none the wiser. Uh, let's see, Aurora said, transmitting the data might cause corruption. Sounds like a scare tactic to me. Those boxes are made to withstand just about anything. Send that data our way. You'll be 300 credits richer. No one will need to know, except the two of us. Ah, uh, let's see. Forcing a burst transmission, a burst data transmit could cause corruption, meaning we might not get paid by Aurora. You'll have to do better than 300. Horizon doesn't ne uh, negotiate with the labor pool. You want to keep working? You'll take what's offered. Think on that a bit while you're wandering around. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. And he cuts us off. What a creep show. Must be in PR. Patching in your second call. Luna's face is replaced by a dark screen. A voice that addresses you is nuanced and charismatic. She sounds like an old world politician. Hello there. I pre represent Workers United. We're a civilian group focused on helping protect the rights of individual citizens. And what can I do for Workers United? Before we continue, I feel like I should make you aware of the fact your reputation precedes you. Word reached me from Brighthall Colony that you completed delivery of vital medical supplies that Chimera was falsely claiming were unpaid for. On behalf of Brighthall and oppressed workers everywhere, thank you. Glad to be able to help. What insistence were you looking for today? Simply put, we require the black box data you've been hired to obtain. We want the raw data, not what ever is left over after Corp PR finishes their hatchet job. Forward us a copy before handing it over, and we'll repay the favor with 100 credits. I think I can do that. That's excellent news. The families of the missing colonists deserve the truth. With your help, maybe we can give it to them. I'll leave you to it. Rep cuts off the call. Seems like your services are in demand today. Here's hoping that works out to my advantage. 
Let's stay on the mission and worry about the pay after. Let's find this black box and get paid. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since I've played, but luckily this is not exactly a high skill game. Let's go back the other direction for a second. I wanted to just take a look at this. It'd be hilarious if they snuck the secret uh, over here. I just wanted to take a look around, seeing as eh, it looked like there's too many fancy things. Did they actually... They might have actually turned down the... Uh, they might have turned down the blinding flashlight. I wonder... I, I wonder if they did or if it's just this tile set not being as reflective as the other ones. I don't know. Oh. So it's using the same tile set as the, uh... It's using the same tile set as the, uh... The tutorial level of all places. Okay. Well, we got an Aurora security door. Let's try and do it. Okay. The security door beeps angrily and a recording place. Aurora Starliners thanks you for your interest in the security door. Access is denied to unauthorized personnel. Do not persist in attempts to open this door and please enjoy your trip aboard the Stella Marin. Okay, so we're gonna have to find a, a proper way in. I guess this is a plot dungeon so we might not be able to just do whatever we want. Okay. Let's see. Caution. Tra ah, trash can. I will take med kits, if only because they sell well. I haven't really needed them yet. Might need them. This is a plot plot dungeon, so there's a very real possibility we might hello. Uh we might need it along the way here. Uh let's check the map for a second. Doesn't look like there's anything except for the one security door that I've missed. You emerge in into the wide, inviting halls of a posh residential area. The upper decks clearly housed the affluent passengers. A waiter bot is idling nearby and turns as you enter, waving an oddly cheering greeting. Domestic helper, inferior programming, yet it may know things. Brain puncher. M medicinal tonics can expand the vision of the mind. Perhaps it carries them. Make mine a double. Okay. No. Oh. And we're fighting it. Whoops. What? Okay. Confused. Uh, well, this is fine. I'll just clobber knot him. Why not? Let's see, let's do, what is the most, that does the most amount of damage. Well, I guess I don't know how to talk to people. I'd say that's a serious problem, and it probably is. Well, no drinks for us. The team stares in stunned silence at the uh, downed bot. Sir, I'd like some tea when you get up. Who the hell taught a domestic how to fight? Well, try and fight. Call Luna and report the attack. You sure love chatting with me, don't you? What's up? Uh, combat mode engaged with a domestic robot. Need increased credits. This was not in the mission brief. Maybe we can wrangle a few extra credits from Aurora? I'll ping Doc and get on the wire to Aurora. I wouldn't mind if they toss a little extra hazard pay our way. Hazards lurk behind every potted plant. Not on the shuttle, though. Depends on your definition of a hazard. Your impending demise is my impending unemployment. Just looking out for what's best for the team. Okay, we'll watch for more hostiles. Uh, let's see. I've kind of given up on, like, directly voicing things because we have too many characters and I just kind of want to get through this game. I, like, might do it a little bit. Oh, it's like a vending machine. Well, that's neat. And a random busted cup. Uh, I want to, like, grab everything. I... Uh, it's just to some degree, I wonder if it's not better, uh, just in general, to actually go fast in this game. Skip most of the, like, random junk. Only up open up, like, most of the big loot containers and just try and uh, grind through as many missions as possible. Uh, the reason why I'm thinking that is because... Uh, did that do anything? I have no idea. Um... But, you know, missions pay pretty well, but a lot of the, like, loot does not. A figure emerges clumsily from behind a bulkhead, waving his hands to get your attention. The suit's logos indicate he works for De Blue Yutaki. Don't shoot! I'm not armed! I'm glad you're not one of those psychotic w waiter bots. Dark shadows prowl these halls. The whispering becomes a strangled scream. Ah, right. Listen, I'm in a real bind and you look capable. Maybe you can help me out? There's easy credits in it for you. This ship's supposed to be on lockdown. What are you doing here? Respectfully, what are you doing here? We both know that, that corps play by their own rules. I'm just trying to capitalize on their interests. Same as you. Plus, 
When Dablue Yutaki says jump, you don't ask why. So about those credits. Right. Dablue Yutaki sent me in to locate an ex-employee's holotop. They have intel that he was recruiting for Workers United and wanted to get a copy of his recruitment files. He glances around nervously. I expected an empty ship, but I've been hiding from the bots since I walked in. I'm not geared for this. But if you can locate the files and wire me a copy, I'll pay 50 credits for each file you send. Uh, I'm betting those files will be heavily encrypted. 50 credits barely covers my consulting fee. Alternatively, tell me more about Workers United. Just some low-budget civvy group. Typical knuckle-dragging jackboot types. Normally, W. Yutaki would just ignore them, but lately they've been causing delays at some of the manufactories. The bosses want to locate the leaders and nip the problem in the bud before it gets out of hand. Uh, let's see if we can get more money. Yeah, damn, okay. I'm not risking getting Dablu Yutaki pissed. Guest residence should be in this wing. His name's Herman Dorfot. Dorfel. Here's a wire address and any Workers United files you find, and we'll pay 100 credits per file. Anyway, I'm out of this hellhole right now. Nice doing business with you. To some degree, I feel like, um... Oh, do we... Can I get in here? Wardrobe! Wardrobe actually has some good stuff in it. Nice. It's also a pretty swank uh, sci-fi bedroom. Wait, hold on. Oh, there's no f sheet over the mattress? Well, scratch that. This place is a hellhole. Okay, uh... Well, what do we got? I mean, there's toilet paper. There's a toilet. Toilet. There... Any, like, reason to actually interact with this stuff? Yes. There's a med kit. Okay, worth it. Those are worth not insignificant amounts of money. But yeah, I don't know how much we have to worry about um, uh, tendering to the different factions in this game. Well, that's kind of pretty. Because uh, on one hand, it could be one of those where uh, if we, like, do too much for different factions, we'll get... Uh, If we do too much or too little for different factions, we'd get, like, a different ending. I should probably look that up, just so I don't, like, make too many mistakes. Uh, cause... Like, it sounds like Workers United is... Hello. Well, okay, let's just beat the tar out of them. You know, Workers United is supposed to be kind of the, like, uh... Pro-worker union, and everybody else is just kind of the corporate, uh, entity out for themselves. And, to be fair... <laughs> um... I think I'm inherently, um... Predispos uh, predisposed against um, corporate entities. I don't know. Uh, stick it to the man. No, I don't. Yeah. Um, this is a, okay. It's the same background every single time. I guess it does brighten up the room a little bit. It does actually look like there's some decent loot in here. What do we think? Med kit in every bathroom? Nope. Just cred chip. Eh. I'll take it anyway. Um. The other thing is, like, uh... Yeah, I don't really... I really don't know. I guess it's just one of those where it's like, I feel like I... Uh, oh. I feel like Workers United is... Supposed to be kind of the good guys in this. And it feels weird to just be like, Nope. Gonna do everything for money. Even though I guess that's kind of the point of, point of this game. Okay, there's nothing under there. Still, trying to get some decent loot in these bedrooms. I'm just gonna keep kind of cycling through here. Hi! Oh, it's not like the ro uh, worker bots are. Oh, never mind. He's got helper bots, and they're they're punchy. Well, let's work on the. Okay. All oh, right. I was gonna. I was actually going to. Um... I was going to reset the prototype so we had a new move. Oh, well, wasn't thinking. That's okay. Yeah, we want that AOE move of his, because Assault is not worth having points in. And it'll be a while before we need that. There we go. But, nope, he's not done. But he's also not very hard. I, we're at least a level or two higher than than this area. Oh, somebody leveled up. Okay, Hard Slab did. Nice. So Hard Slab, I guess, gets another point in a, in a Cry Havoc. It's not exactly the most useful. Okay, so we want Void Storm. 
<laughs> yeah, Void Storm is way better than Torrent. Torrent's not bad, but yeah, every 10 points, 100% damage versus 7 points, 30 weapon damage. I guess it can't miss, and there's kind of like a crit chance thing, but still. Backlash is pretty good, too. I don't know. Uh, still, I'm going to head, head for Void Storm, because that seems like the, uh, the genuinely best uh, thing I've got in my arsenal. Okay, so let's go back a bit. We have, we've got a couple of doors that we haven't been through yet. Oh, well, we get another med kit. I guess it's kind of prepping us for a long mission. Well, that's okay. Captain Mo Spaced Rum. That's adorable. And Pickles. I like the dev team for this game. I have had, like, no interaction with them. Oh, holotop computer. Okay, welcome user. Herman Dorfel, security lockout engaged. Your session is timed out. Please log in to continue. Uh, three attempts until security shut down. Let's try and bat bypass it. Okay, so we need password hint. Seven letters. So we're gonna leave it alone for the time being. We gotta we gotta find something on Dorful here. I'm still not entirely sure what I wanna do um about it. I'll I'll we'll figure it out later. Okay. Oh, it's like raining in the faux rainforest. That's cute. Wait, hold on. What's up with the wall here? Wait. Uh... I think this is episode five. All right, yeah, uh, it was just pickles. That's adorable. Logged in user Herman Dorfel. You scan the contents of the holotop for potentially relevant files. Workers United Manifest. The manifest is a digital leaflet that Herman was apparently handing out to potential recruits. It contains information about Workers United, a brief mission statement, and a whole lot of political musings and anti-corporation rhetoric. Uh, let's see. Wire copy to the Workers United rep. Incoming file transfer. Wire to Workers United Care of Comlink address. Okay. Files received and wired. Receipt acknowledged. So, no payout for that one? Okay, whatever. Examine the other files. Member list. Workers United member list contains detailed contact information for the local chapter and their associates in W. Utaki. Incriminating evidence indeed. Uh, yeah, let's just wire it all to this one. Luna, file transfer incoming, wired to Workers United, rep, received and wired, received acknowledged with no cred transfer. You just love working for free, huh? Okay, and potential recruits. Herman has compiled a list of Dublu Yutake employees that are not yet members of Workers United, but he believes could be swayed to join. The detailed notes include, a personal, include personal observations on the likelihood of different individuals joining and how they might advance the cause. More Workers United. Okay, and leave it alone. I'm not sure if that's a that was the right thing to do, but I money doesn't bug me too much in this game. Currently, we're kicking some pretty hard. Uh, uh, I guess we're kicking some pretty hard slab, pretty hard ass. I don't know. Um, we're we're kicking butt. And I'm not too worried about like going for the easy creds, especially only for like a hundred. I don't know. I guess a hundred's kind of hard to come by. I just get the feeling by the time we're kind of done with this game, we're going to be like crazy wealthy in the idea of uh, doing cheap stuff for nothing. Just doesn't strike me as really worth going for. Okay. Uh, got anything around here? I don't know. Oh, we got a tablet. Herman, I hate to be a bother, but please do remember that all pets must stay confined to their personal quarters and not, al not allowed to roam free on the deck. Miss Gilhenny reported that Pickles left a rare drop in her slippers again. Regards, Matthias. Funny. So, another hint. Okay, I wanted to do something, by the way. We want to go load up? Here we go. Um, Dog carrier. Let's let Barkleby out. Barkleby out. 
Uh, do you require my services? I was just napping. Yes, come on, Barkleby. Well, hey, let's go maul some ba baddies, shall we? I haven't sunk my teeth into a corpse like drone in ages. Okay, I wanted to take a look at Barkleby for a second. Or abilities or overview? Barkleby. Level 3 animal. Let's see if Barkleby actually gets experience here, because we need Barkleby to actually, like, start leveling up. Uh, otherwise, uh, we run the risk of getting him killed on a run. Uh, and that's not something I want to do. I might be able to use the carrying case to put him away, though. That's something to hold on to. Okay, nope, that's nothing. Just a stolen data chip. Oh. Well, there's a med kit there. Note to self, check the, check the showers, too. And nothing else here. Well, understandable. I've been playing a lot of tile-based dungeon crawlers lately. I I don't know if it's just something about May or what. But uh, let's do meat shield. Seeing as we're going first. Okay, so it doesn't look like I actually get the ability to control Barkleby. I'm just hoping that we actually get to level him up. Because it'd be a shame to have a, a battle dog, effectively, that never gets experience. Okay, so let's see if we got it. Uh, let's see if Barkleby got a little bit there. Barkleby. Zero experience. Ah. Come back to that in a moment. That seems a little bit more um, important. I don't know. And we want to get, we want to search every room on the, uh, along the way. Anything? Nope. Curious what these, like, panels are. I assume they're just kind of how you access the room. Okay, haven't found anything, uh, particularly important yet. Ah! Guess they're ready and waiting for me. Okay, so we've got Copbot, Rookie, and Copbot. Okay. <laughs> you serious? They're serious. That's hilarious. They throw traffic cones at me. You don't even need traffic cones on a space station, probably. Well, I'm gonna go for the rookies. This might be a mistake, but um, I might as well farm for experience. Hmm. The issue is Barkleby does not have um, Barkleby does not have uh, uh, shields. Eh, should be fine. You get a damage over time. You get a damage over time. Everyone gets a damage over time. Oh, dang, the reason why these guys are tough is because they've got, like, crazy shields. I didn't even think about that. Okay, so if I ignite him... Did that... did that miss? Must have missed. Weird. Okay, so now everybody's been hacked. I guess let's do hypercode and put him at the very end. Okay. That's a bit rough, actually. Well, it's okay. So he has 15 HP left. Maybe Hard Slab will be able to take a hit on him. I mean, I guess this actually would be probably a decent. Decent opportunity for me to use um, assault. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. Let's do. Uh, let's boost some damage here. So this guy's about to go down. Let's harm him. Okay. Can I ignite? 
It's only one shield, though. I'll just hit him regularly. I think that took off his shield, too. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Uh, just kill him. He almost take, uh, took it. Oh, is... Uh, no, it doesn't look like uh, Hard Slab is actually injured here. Let me ignite for two shields. Sounds good. Now, is he stunned? No, he's not. Oh. Oh, if you malfunction, the attacks reset. Yeah, okay, we're not using Assault. It's it's just not that productive of a move. You've entered one of the many commercial districts spread across the upper decks. Several security bots and cameras are patrolling the area between you and the elevator. We got a shipload of hostiles and security in the area. If we plot carefully, we can avoid uh, evade them. I... Have you met me? That's... We got a busted window. Now it doesn't look like there's much I can do with it. Anyway, yeah, we actually... We always pretty much want to fight everything. Like, we really don't take that much damage, so it really doesn't matter that much. Okay, so we do have some void energy here. Let's see. Oh, it requires void energy per. Okay. I was wondering about this. So, it requires 10 void energy per shield. That's why, that's why characters like Brain Puncher are good. I understand how it works. Okay, well the cop bot's going down pretty fast. And Brain Puncher can pop off some of the shields. So he has two shields. Anybody got three? He's got three. Pop those off. Yeah, that wow, that does damage. Alright, I can see the merits of it. So he's got the damage over time on him. He does not. Okay. Oh, neat. And because we hit him directly multiple times, uh, his shields popped off more. Okay, I can, I can suddenly see kind of the appeal of... Uh, I can kind of see the appeal of stuff like Ignite. Okay, anybody actually have the decent amount of shields here? I mean, the cop bot does, but we don't care about that. Hard slabs, got nothing. Let's just start shooting some people. Yeah, let's just hit him with the side bolt. Yeah, that works better. Now that I understand how uh, Ignite works, that actually puts us in a really nice spot. Okay, so Hacker goes up and we get some random junk. Okay, abilities, Hacker Man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't really care much for... I don't care much for Hyper Thread. It's useful. Let's undo the assignment. So what's this do again? Increases our dodge chance by another 5%, and... It increases... Okay, that's useful. And then, when they dodge, their time units are increased. Useful. Um, but yeah, what we want is... Um, multi-core. Because... Boost the damage they deal and reduce damage taken by 3% for every hacker buff. Which, at the very least, is going to be useful. It, really, we want the rank 2 version of it when we get there. I'll have to figure out if that actually works the way I think it does or not. Well, it's okay. There's got to be a way to disable the security around here. A lot of glass. Oh, trash can's empty. Not used to that. 